Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How Good are evening. you today? I thank you and you. Good, thanks. Thanks for asking. Very well, thank you. Nice. Very good. How was your day? It was fine. Excellent. Olympia, were you here yesterday? No, huh? <laughs> were you on vacation? Uh, yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, I really vacationed uh, yesterday. <laughs> good. Good. Nice. No, I know. I... Um, um, uh, no sé cómo se dice cambio. Change. Change a eh, course. Um, oh, okay. Yo, horario. The schedule. Yeah. Schedule. Yes. Okay, good. Where do you live, Olympia? Um, I am live in San Salvador. San Salvador. What part of San Salvador? Um, Colonia Miramonte. Oh, good, good. It's a nice yes. neighborhood. Yes, and you? I live in Lourdes, Colón. Okay, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> See, I am hot clean, okay? You oh, are cool. Uh, it's, Lourdes is usually hot. Usually. Yes. But uh, my house is, you know, the first floor is, is, I think it's fresh, but the second floor is completely different. It's very hot. Yes, um, here, here is, is igual. Yeah, the okay. same, the same. Yes, yes. Okay. Good, welcome to the class, Olympia. Gracias, thank you. All right. Hello, good evening, everybody. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. Yeah, it's eight o'clock, teacher. Excellent, eight o'clock. it's eight o'clock. Yes. My wife, she's making fun of me. <laughs> What's your name, teacher? My name is Francisco. Okay. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. Uh, so it's eight o'clock. What time is your live skill training? What time is your life skill training? Do you remember the meaning of life skill? Let me yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember, but, but I don't know how I can answer that question because life skill, you, you told us that is the drive or swim or um, another soft skill, right? Yes, a, a, a life skill, the name is literal. It's a skill that people use in life. Examples, driving, swimming, cooking. Those are life skills. English is a life skill. It's not a subject, it's a life skill. English can change your life. English can improve your life. English can save your life. So anyways, do you remember uh, today's date? What is today's date? Is it December, November, October? What is it? It is March. March. It's March. March. It's March. Okay, which day? Is, uh, is it Friday, Saturday? Thursday. It's Thursday. Okay, remember you say? Wednesday. Tuesday. 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 How do you spell Tuesday? Tuesday three. E U E S D A Y. Excellent. Lowercase, lowercase or capital? Lowercase or capital? Mm, capital. 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 Yes. Mm. What is the meaning of capital? Mayuscula. Mayuscula, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Remember, how many days do we have in the week? How many days? Seven. Seven, Seven days. Every day, 
every day you write it with capital letter. Okay. Mandatory. Huh? What's the month? March. 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 How do you spell March? Yeah. M-A-R-C-H. Very good. M-A-R-C-H. How many months are there in one year? 12 months. 12 months. 12 months. 12 months. 12 months. 12 months. Excellent. Every month, you write it with capital letters too. This is different than Spanish. In Spanish, you say, Martes... Uh, 2 de marzo, 3 de marzo. Martes is lowercase, marzo is lowercase. English is different. Tuesday is capital letter and March is capital letter. Got it? What is the date? What's the date? Today it's 2nd of March. 2nd. So today, Tuesday, March 2nd, what is the year? 2021. 2021. 2021 or 2021. 2021. Yes. <laughs> the two options are good. The two options are good. Okay, so if today is Tuesday, what was yesterday? Monday. 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 Uh -huh. Monday. How do you say anteayer in English? Uh, Sunday. Day after yesterday. Uh, yes. The day before uh, yesterday. Before yesterday. The day before yesterday. That's how you say anteayer, not antier. Anteayer. Antier is. En salvadoreño. Exactly. Antier. antier is Salvadorian, but the real word yes. is anteayer. Yes. Okay. Uh, so if today is Tuesday, what is tomorrow? Wednesday. 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 Uh, Wednesday. Good. How do you say pasado mañana in English? Wednesday. The day after, after, the day after, tomorrow. after tomorrow. Good. The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, the day before yesterday, those are two expressions that people use all the time. All the time. Pasado mañana. So the same uh, demand, the same frequency of how we say pasado mañana or anteayer in Spanish, English is the same. They're high frequency words. Okay, uh, let's talk about yesterday. Which topics did we mention yesterday? Uh -huh. The topic it was talking about family and what we do in our life. Okay, good. Like that. Yes, you introduce yourself. My name is Francisco, I'm 49 years old, blah, 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 blah. So you introduce yourself. What kind of information do you include when you introduce yourself? Write it in the chat. What kind of information do you include? Put it in the chat. Are you using cell phone or, or computer? In my case, uh, I use cell phone. Okay, no good. Okay, age, name, last name. Uh huh. How do you say segundo nombre in English? Last name? Segundo last nombre. Name. Segundo nombre. Middle last name? name. Middle name. Middle name. Middle name. Middle name. So you have oh, first okay. name, Francisco. Middle name, Jose. Last name, Marroquin. Marital status, very good. What options do we have for marital status? Happily divorced. Happily divorced, okay. <laughs> Single. <laughs> Single. I, re I really, Luis, very uh, divorced. <laughs> very, very happy and very divorced. Okay, All very right. happy. <laughs> Good. Okay. <laughs> you know, every, every, every case is different, you know. So, yeah. single, divorced, how do you say separado in English? Separated. 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 Yeah, separated. 
So separated, you're not together with your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, but you're living in different places. So you're separated. Divorce. Okay. Uh, y acompañados, entonces, ¿cómo se diría? Uh, living together. I live together living. with my boyfriend. I live together with my girlfriend. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Yes, sir. But separated, including that the, the, the people, men and women, have a, a engaged. Uh, okay. Separated can be. Okay. Like you're living together with a person. Maybe she's only your girlfriend. Maybe she's your wife. Maybe you have children. Maybe you don't have children. But you separate. So your previous marital status is not a factor. You're separated. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay. All right. How do you say viudo in English? Or viuda? Happy. <laughs> uh -huh. that's, that's very, very, like. very happy. Okay. No, I, I know, I know. How do you say, I agree. Okay. How do you say viuda in English? How do you say that? Right. Okay. Yes. How do you say that? Let it repeat, please. Avengers. Okay. We don't wear. Okay. Okay. okay how, thank how do you say ventana in English? Window. 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 So if you want to remember how to say um, viuda, you will say widow. So you widow. eliminate. Widow. Yes. Widow. Black widow. Yes. So you eliminate letter N. So you say, I told oh. you. Yeah. Okay. In the chat, I told you because I learned in Avengers. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Black uh -huh. Widow. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. And widower, if it's a man, widow is for woman, widower is for men. Widow, man. Widow? Widower. 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 Yeah. Leticia okay. wrote it. Widower, widow. Widow, okay. viuda. Okay. All right. Anything else? Any other questions? Any information that you include when you are introducing yourself? Professional. Yeah, your profession. Yes, your profession or your occupation. Carpenter, doctor, police officer, uh, military, uh, architect, engineer, receptionist, there are many, many professions and occupations. All right, any questions before we start with the class? Any questions about yesterday? Yesterday, no. Okay, all right, so let me share this with you. Mm -hmm. Where is the image? Goodness. Oh, right here. Okay, do you remember uh, the conversation that we covered yesterday? The family picture? Yes, in the living room. Right. How do you say estaban en, el, en la sala? They were. They were, they were in the living room. Very good. They in were the in the living room. Can you see the picture? Yes, yes. Teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So, any questions about the picture before we start with the conversation? No. No. Okay. How many people in the conversation? Four people. Four people. Okay. We have Mr. Phil, Jason, Mrs. Phil, and Lisa. So I need. Two guys and two girls to read this conversation. I need four volunteers. Who's Mr. Phil? Me, teacher. Very good. Who is Jason? I Jason. Am. Okay, very good. Who is Mrs. Phil? Mr. Phil. Mrs. Phil? Who's Mrs. Phil? Me. Okay, very Me. good. And who is Lisa? Okay. Me. Oh, Elena has company. Yes, it's Mimi. 
my cat. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so, so Mr. Phil, Jason, Mrs. Phil, and Lisa. All right, Mr. Phil, let's do it. Okay. Jason, sorry, um, se me activaron las alarmas de mi casa. Yeah. Um, Jason, Jason, turn on the TV, please. Jason? Jason, who is Jason? Jason? Jason. Okay. I'll be Jason. Oh, but this is my favorite program. Oh, no. Oh, I, I, I know, but it's very low. Okay, I'll turn it down. Sorry, five minutes, yes? No, that's better. Ya oye, oyeron, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Se callan los perros de mi casa. Ok, Olimpia, so can you read? Go ahead. Ok, a combat is a very low. Uh, ok, I'll turn it down. That's very. Mr. Phil, Olimpia? That's a better thing. Thanks. Lisa. Please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. Lisa? Lisa? In a minute. In Mom. a minute, Mom. I am on the phone. Okay. All right, but do it as soon as you bring up. Hurry up. Lisa? Okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. Goodness, oh. where we like this when we were kids? Definitely. 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 Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, any questions about vocabulary in this conversation? No teacher. No? No. Okay, so listen to the intonation that I use in the conversation. He says, Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, uh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah, teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yeah, what Come is the out. question? Hang up. Teacher, but what happened hang with up. the intonation? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hang up is when you finish the call. I want you to finish the call. Okay, thank you. How do you say hang up in um, in Spanish? Very good. When you finish the phone call, hang up. Okay, anybody else? Any questions, any comments? What happened with the correct intonation? Which intonation, uh, Luis? Yes, because when you wrote, when you read that a conversation, I, I don't, I can listen uh, the correct intonation of the dialogue. Okay, uh, when you see that the exclamation mark, your intonation has to be like surprise. Okay, but this is my favorite program. And when you see the question mark, your intonation is supposed to be of a question. Were we like this when we were kids? So, anybody else? Any questions, any comments? What is the meaning of goodness? Goodness. Can somebody explain the word goodness? Goodness. Huh? Dios mío. Yeah. It's another form to say, oh my God, like. Oh my God. Yeah. You can say it like that. Uh, thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? 
No. Okay, so I'm going to give you the chance for everybody to read. Remember, when I asked for volunteers and I said, okay, I'm Jason, it's because Jason is ready to read. If I said, I'm going to be Mr. Phil, and when my turn comes, you're, Mr. Phil is supposed to be ready to read. So let me see this here. Uh -huh. Can somebody take a screenshot and, and send it to the WhatsApp chat? Perfect. Okay, I'll do it. I got it. Can you do it? I got it, the, the screenshot. Okay, can you share it in the... WhatsApp group? Yeah, in the WhatsApp group, please. Thank you very much. So now I will make the... Thank you. I'll make the... The pair, the, the, the pair, so you can, uh, so you can work in pairs and everybody can have the chance to read this. So imagine that I'm working with, my, oh, but it's supposed to be four people. So I will make four groups. Yeah, create it. Okay, teacher. Hmm. Give me a second. Give me a second. I think uh, it will be better if if I assign you to working groups. Let me see this here. Okay. All right. Add a room, open rooms. So when you're working in pairs, divide the work. You guys decide who is Mr. Phil, who's going to be Mrs. Phil, who's going to be Jason, and who's going to be uh, the girl. So, in a few seconds. Very well. We we will to to uh, read the dialogue uh, the teacher shared to us, right? Yes, okay. sir. You will read the dialogue. That is correct. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Right. <laughs> okay. We can practice. If I'm Mr. Phil. Because I um, Okay. Okay, let's start. Jason, Jason, turn on the TV, please. Oh, but that is my favorite program. Definitely. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. Lisa, uh, uh, Leticia, now you, you are uh, Jason and Lisa, uh, no, Mr. Phil and Mr. Fields, and I, Jason and Lisa, okay? Okay, nice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very, very long. Okay, I turn it down. That is better, thanks. <laughs> In a minute, mom, I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as as you do. Sorry, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Do you say al revés? Okay. Okay. Backwards. Okay. Backwards. What? Backwards. If you want to say al revés, you say backwards. Back backwards. Yeah, let, let me put it in the chat. 
Okay, thank you. Backwards. Okay, give me a second. I'm missing letter K. Okay. Backwards. You see the chat? Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Back, yes. Backwards. Yeah, backwards means in the opposite uh, direction. So you're doing it uh, al revés. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Very good. Okay, I turn it down. Okay, I turn it I down this. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your. What do you think now we, we do it again, but with a different intonation? For example, when cuando son preguntas. Pongamos la intonación de preguntas o la de la admiración y cambiamos la voz también. Exacto. Exacto. <laughs> nice. That's a good suggestion. Ok. Voy a Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, come back to the classroom, the principal. No. No. Did you guys finish with the conversation? No, yet, you share only Anna. Okay. We got two more minutes. Go ahead. Okay. Just I love kids. Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't know how do you say licenciada in parvularia. Preschool is parvularia, but. Bachelors. Okay. Yes. Thank let, you, teacher. Let, let me Bachelors. write it in the chat. Uh -huh. Bachelors. Yeah. Bachelors. Bachelors. Okay, bachelors. Uh, uh, preschool bachelors. Bachelors. All yeah. right. Bachelors. Yeah. Bachelors. But bachelors of apply all to the, the licenciatura and yep. professorado, right? No. No. Professorado is less. Bachelor's means licenciatura. Mm -hmm. Five so years of college. <laughs> my sister has mm -hmm. a bachelor's of uh, education, uh, marketing, business administration. So bachelor's, uh, they are different. Wow. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see this here. Okay. We are, we were kids. Definitely. Okay, excellent. Last time. All right, everybody else is returning in half a minute, maybe less. They're coming back. So how is the new month so far? How is March treating you? Well, so far so good. Nice, it's only the second day. Yes. When is Semana Santa? Do, does anybody know when Semana Santa will be? It's third weekend uh, April. The first weekend of April. Okay. Yes. All right. Good to know. Good to know. 
Okay, any questions or comments about the conversation? Yeah. I it was a very good practice. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, so, uh, you know, like when you conversate, when you're reading, remember, it's not only a reading conversation, but imagine that you are in the real conversation. Mm -hmm. you know? So, question marks, exclamation, oh, you have to personalize. Um, every person that you read. Okay. Um, I image I with my girls. <laughs> excuse me? I image I with my girls. Turn exactly. Down. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah, we Take can practice. Down. When you're a father, when you're a mother, you're very, you're, you're experts. Okay. Anyways. Okay. Let's change topic. How many tenses are there in English? How many grammatical tenses? ¿Cuántos tiempos gramaticales hay en inglés? How many grammatical tenses? Okay. There are... What number did I write? Maybe three. Thank you. Twelve. Twelve. Maybe three. Last person of future. 12. There are 12 tenses. 12 tenses. Every tense has a different structure. Okay. Every tense has a different function. For example, if I say, uh, mi hermana llamó y dice que no va a venir. How many tenses did I write there? Did I use there? Mi hermana llamó y dice que no va a venir. Two. Three. 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 Two or three? Three. Three. Three, three. three is correct. Mi hermana llamó. What tense is that? Pass. Pass. Y dice, Pass. Y dice Pass. 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 Present. Present. que no va a venir. Future. 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 So when you are when, when you are speaking, when you're having a, a real conversation, you make a combination of the 12 tenses without thinking. The same way you speak Spanish, you use Spanish and you're not thinking about what grammar you're using. You just use the language naturally. However, when you're in the process of learning something new in the case of English, you know, some grammar needs to be explained so we have a better understanding of what we're saying and why we're saying it. You know, there are many questions that have an explanation and there are other questions that it takes only practice, right? What is the first tense that you usually see in an English class? So present. 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 What present? Present perfect. Simple present. Simple present. Simple present. Very Simple good. Present. Simple present. My name is Francisco. I'm 49 years old. I live in Lourdes. I have five children. I'm married. I'm an English teacher, blah, blah. That's the simple present. The simple present is used to talk about general information. Right? When you go to a job interview in English, they will always ask you, tell me about yourself. How do you say, tell me about yourself in English, in Spanish? Dime sobre ti. Dime cuéntame, algo. Cuéntame, cuéntame acerca de ti. Yeah. O ¿Qué me puedes decir ah, acerca de ti? Háblame de usted, háblame de, háblame de ti. You know, and there's a famous song like, háblame de ti. Have you heard that song? <laughs> it's Rocio Durga, I think. Yeah. Okay. okay, so um. tell me about yourself. So Max is thirsty now, you know. He's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay. I don't know that kind of music. So, yeah, that, that's good music. That's good music. Max, Max, I se emociona. Yeah. Yeah, he gets excited. Okay, yeah. anyways. So, listen. I, re I remember and you are um, a Max. Hay un recuerdo. Yeah, there's a memory. There's a memory. Yes, okay. uh, the memory. Okay. All right. So, they say in a job interview, Francisco, tell me about yourself. And Francisco answers with, 
general information. Uh, do you remember the rule of the third person singular? What is the rule of the third person singular? Who remembers? In present, you have to S. Uh -huh. add S. You or add S where? The S. Uh, um, at the end of each verb. Excellent. Uh, Very good. So listen to this. What is the third person singular? He, he, he it. it. Very good. He, he, he. So look at the chat. If the subject is he, she, it, you need to add S to the verb. How do you say mm -hmm. ella corre rápido? She runs fast. Excellent. She runs fast. She run we need fast. to put S to the verb because she is part of the third person uh, singular. How do you say él trabaja mucho? She oh, works. He works. He works. He works. Okay, he works a lot. Very much. Or he works very much. Okay, so we need S to the verb because he is part of the third person singular. So imagine that I'm testing this cell phone and I said, oh, suena bien. How do you say suena bien in English? Sounds good. I mean, Excellent. Sounds good. Very Excellent. Good. It sounds good. So you need to add S to the verb sound because it is part of the third person singular. Any it's, questions it's there? Any questions there? No. Now, do you remember the difference okay. between do and does? Okay, yeah. What's the difference? Uh, we, uh, use, we, we use does for, for third person We singular. use does for the third person singular. And the rest of the other personal pronouns you use do. When you're making questions. Do you speak Spanish? Do you like pupusas? Do you work on Saturday? Does your brother have a car? Does your sister cook delicious? Does your doll eat a lot? So you're making questions. Now, how do you say, yo si trabajo los sábados? I really work Sunday. Si trabajo los sábados. Let, let, me, let me give you these examples. I work on Saturday. How do you say that one in Spanish? I work on Saturdays. Yo trabajo los sábados. Yo trabajo los sábados. Trabajo los sábados. It's general. Los sábados. It's general. But you say, Francisco, uh, can we have breakfast together on Saturday? Because you're free on Saturday. So I make the correction and I say, I, I work do work. I, I do work. work I do work on Saturdays. So you make a combination of do and does plus the verb to make emphasis about something you want to clarify or you want to correct. Yo sí trabajo los sábados. Tal vez nos podemos reunir un domingo. So when I say, yo sí trabajo los sábados, I'm making emphasis, I'm making a correction that I'm not free. Do you see the difference? Yes. yes. How do you yes. say ella sí paga los recibos? She does pay the pay. She does pay the, the bills. bills. The pay the bill the bills. Yeah. So he said, you know what? Your sister she doesn't help in anything in the house. She doesn't clean. She doesn't bring food. She doesn't pay the bills. And then you say, wait a minute. She does pay the bills. <laughs> so you use once again do and does plus the verb to make emphasis to emphasize that something is different than what the other person is saying. Any questions? A question. No A question, did you? Okay. Excellent. Let me show you. Imagine that this quiz is evaluated. Let's see this here. Okay. okay, can you see the screen? Can you see my screen? 
Yes, yes but the letter yes. is very small. <laughs> okay, can you see it better now? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, teacher. Can yes. somebody please help me? How do you say uh, toma de imagen? A screenshot. A screenshot. A screenshot. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Can somebody please help me with the screenshot and share sure. it in the WhatsApp chat, please? I'll do it. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much. I'm going to assign you to working in pairs again. Remember, when you're working in pairs, you are not supposed to be using Spanish. You're supposed to be using only English. So let me reassign you. We're gonna move this person to room eight. And here we go. Discuss every question, discuss every answer. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, yes he. he is. Okay, four. Yes, dos is Julie's. Usually, it snows in Julie. Does it usually snow in no, it July? Doesn't. Does it usually no, it snow in July? Okay. What is the answer? Does it. No it, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it Very doesn't. good. Very good. No, they don't. Right, huh? Then I will yes. copy in my our answer. Number one, two, two.
Dr. R. No, is your. Yeah, but teacher. You, but you, which, you have, you have a question. which you number are you doing? No, hmm. Number three. For me, is are your friend busy now? No. For me, is your. No. Is your is friend. Your. Is your friend busy now? Yes, he is. Ah, okay. Is uh, your friend. Right, right. Thank you. Is that your amigo ocupado ahorita? So, is your friend busy now? So, this information is about he or she. So, the answer is is. Ah, okay. We, we, we don't associate like you, like you are. No. No, no. The spelling Wait. is different. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so okay. in this case, yes, your is uh, is possessive, yes. Possessive, okay, okay, Juan Carlos. Let me number four. Okay. I think it's doesn't because the doesn't. question doesn't because it's this is something is does. Yes, the question is does does it usually snow in July? No, no, it is. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. That is correct. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Does your friend Basi know? Yes, he yes he does. Okay, listen to this. If you're talking about actions, you have to use do and does. If you're talking about conditions, you have to say her to be. So if I say, if I say, I am nervous, is that an action or a condition? Condition. It's a condition. A condition. How do you say if I said, oh, I'm very tired. Is that an action or a condition? Uh, a condition. It's a condition. condition. So actions, you use do and does. Conditions, you use verb to be, am, is, are. So, is your friend busy now? Is your friend yes, busy he now? Is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Very thank good. you, teacher. No problem. Maybe in the, um, we are the tell in the 12th teacher. Number 12. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what is what is the personal pronoun in number 12? The first person. Right. I. So I'm, 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 I. Repeat please, sorry. What is the complement or what is the verb to be that we use with I? Um. Right. Is that a question or a sentence? Question. Okay, so what is the right question? Am I late? Am I late? I am late. No, you don't. Uh -uh. Now remember yeah. the same. No, I'm sorry, CJ. Yes, no, you, uh, no, you aren't. No, you aren't. Yes. yes. So the same auxiliary that you use in the question, the same auxiliary has to be included in the answer. Okay. 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 With the with the answer in use the auxiliary do, in the answer I I put the do doesn't don't. So does. if I say Elena, do you speak Portuguese? Do you speak Portuguese, Elena? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Patricia, do you live in San Salvador? Yes. Yes, I am. Do no. you live in San Salvador? Uh, yes, I do. Excellent. So I said, Elena, do you speak Portuguese? She says, no, I don't. Then I said, Patricia, do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. So the, the, the two auxiliaries, they have to match. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank right. you, teacher. Very good. Number C, letter C, are you watching TV? Estás viendo televisión? Yes, I am. Which yes, number is that? Oh, number nine. It's number nine. Uh, I think it's letter C. Yeah. Are you watching TV? Yeah. Is that a question or a sentence? Uh, 
it's a, a question. It's a question, exactly. So a your question is good. It's... Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. What would be number 10? Letter eight. Are those your books over there? Yes, they are. Yes. Are. Yeah. It's letter A. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice. <laughs> 11. Do you like to watch movies? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you finish with the questions? Yes. Yes, teacher. Do you Very have any? Fast. Okay. Do you have any questions? Mm, no, teacher. Uh, no. Okay. So remember, if you're making a question using do or does, the answer needs to have do and does as well. If you're making a question using am, is, are, the answer needs to have am, is, are as well. Okay. Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay. So one more minute and then we go back. Okay. You use in that the case, in, uh -huh, in that case, if you use what, the other option could be the B. Do you watch TV? It's like uh, somebody's answer is if you watch TV in every moment or but in, in You guys finished? Yeah, um, we, we finished. Uh, I take note uh, in the answer. Okay. Any questions about any exercises here? Let me, let me see. Uh, let me see. In my question? No questions. Uh, yeah, my, go ahead. My, my, my question. Okay. In, in my question. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, um, are you watching TV? Is the answer, cor the correct answer in letter C? Yeah. Are you watching Television? What yes, I am. Yeah, that is uh, the correct answer. Okay. Good. All right. Let's go back to the main session. All right, people. Welcome back. Any questions about any of the exercises? We have doubt with the uh, number one is are or do. Okay, let me check. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Are you okay. a doctor? No, I'm not. Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. Good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. And with the number nine? Number nine. Are you watching TV? Yes, I am. And the number four? Uh, does it usually snow in July? No, it doesn't. Doesn't. Mm -hmm. So remember, when you're making questions, uh, when you're making questions, you use auxiliaries. The same auxiliary that you're using in the question has to be included in the answer. So if I say, does your sister have children? Does your sister have children? What's yes, the answer? She yes, she does. What if the answer is negative? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay. What if I say, will you be here tomorrow? Will you be here tomorrow? Yes, yes I will. Yes, yes, I will. Yes, I will. What if the answer is negative? No. No, I want. No, no I, I want. want. No, I want. No, I want. Is your brother driving right now? Is your brother driving right now? Yes. Yes, he. he. Yes, he is. Yes, yes he, he is. is. Is your brother driving? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. What if the answer is negative? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, in the number seven is is, is is the number B. Is there? The letter B. Yeah. Is Thomas here today? Yes, he is. It's letter B. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions or comments? 
No. So remember. I have a comment. Yes, ask me, tell us. In the, in the question number eight. Yeah. Just one option. Right there. <laughs> we can see another option. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, okay. because the sum of the image is uh, disappeared. The oh, answer of this okay, two okay. question. All right. All right. Okay. What is number eight? Do you always what? It's number B. The correct option is A. It's A. For me, it's A. Two. Yeah, it's a. Number eight. Is it A, B, or C? A. 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 A is correct. Do you always eat breakfast? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. I always eat breakfast. I cannot start my day without breakfast. <laughs> How do you say, teacher, cuando se puede? <laughs> when possible. You know, I, and I, I try to administrate my time well uh, because I start my first class at 7.30 in the morning. So when I start my first class, breakfast is in my stomach already. So I can function very well. If you okay. don't eat breakfast, you're thinking about huevos, pupusas, frijoles, and, and all those things. And you cannot concentrate. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. coffee. Like the coffee. Do. Breakfast. Yeah. My breakfast is a cup of milk. <laughs> OK. You know, you know, doctors, they said, eat one banana and one glass of orange juice and your body will have what it needs. The problem is that a few minutes later, you're going to be hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. And what is number 16? Are these questions easy? Yes, they are. are. Yes, they are. Yes, yes they, they are. Each are in the number 15. Uh, is today Monday? No, it no, doesn't. doesn't. Yes, it is. No, no, it doesn't. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Okay, is today Monday? No, it isn't. So isn't. there is there, there is a mistake with that uh, with number fifteen. Is today Monday? Okay. No. It isn't. Yeah. Um, well, maybe it's no. Uh, it's today. Uh, it's today Monday. Yeah. But the, maybe the answer is yes. It is. Let us see. Oh Let yeah. See. Right. Can be uh, yes. yeah. see, teacher. Yeah. It's today Monday. Is yes. It, it we're is. going to suppose that it's Monday. Very good. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. Very good. That the, yeah. That is the answer. That is the answer. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions today? No, Did you change the language of your cell phone to English? Oh, yes, teacher. Very good. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Did you yes, teacher. The cell phone and the computer. <laughs> good. good. Social media too. Yeah. Social media too. Yes. So do that. You yes. need to expose yourself to the language as much as possible. It's for your own good. So when you transfer everything to English, uh, you accelerate more. One question before we go. Uh, what is the last animal that discovered water? The last animal to discover water. I don't, I don't know what is the last animal. I don't know, teacher. The last, the last, I don't have okay, the I last, think... Uh huh. Turtle. Okay. The last animal to discover water was fish. Why fish? Why it's fish? Only in the water. Uh, oh, said, oh, so this is water. Uh -huh. Water is my natural habitat. So English in your life is not supposed to be only from eight to nine p.m. English in your life has to be something normal. And that's why I ask you to program your Facebook, your computer, your your um, your cell phones, so you expose your language as much as possible. Not only one hour a day, but 
every time that you can. Any questions or comments before we leave? Teacher, I have a question. How yes, do you Antonio. say how do you say uh, unisex in English? Um, coed. Coed. C O E D. Or you can, C -O -E -D. or you can say uh, mixed. Is mixed. it is it boys or girls? It's both. It's mixed. It's coed. The three okay. options are good. Okay. okay, thank you. So, thank you very much for your time. Yes, go ahead. Thank you, Glenda. Uh, thank you very much. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Thank you, good night, teacher. Thank good you, night. Teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, everyone. Very nice bye. class. Bye. I like it thank very much. You. Bye. bye. See ya.